Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall current energies. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio listeners and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Rolling the dice to see what we need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number 11. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. We could see the justice card kick in. Again, something about the truth or you gaining justice in your romantic life. Power of number five. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. We could see Five of Cups could kick in, picking up on the Five of Swords, possibly the Hierophant. Something about commitment, long-term partnerships, being spiritually anointed or even spiritually protected in your romantic life. Power of number five again, 1155. Okay, so looks like we are going to the number 21, 11 plus 5 plus 5 equals 21, which is also the world card. Some of you guys are either contemplating, maybe putting yourself out there on an online dating website. Maybe you're already in that energy right now for some of you. You can meet your soulmate for those of you who are single. Either this person that you're thinking about already knows you, or you could have met them online, could have met them through a social circle of friends, or you might meet your soulmate through, um, through like a group of friends or being out there, maybe going out, getting involved with like-minded people in a comfortable environment. But the world card can also represent endings to old cycles. Old cycles of, it's like old patterns, old cycles of, you know, not doing, how do I want to say this? Let me think about this. Not being that gerbil on the same spindle, the same wheel, okay? Getting off the wheel and doing things differently. You may feel that you're attracting the same old, the same old type of person, you know. A lot of you Scorpios are just, you know, you're waiting for the new. But part of that, you got to take a little bit of action. But if there's a specific person on your mind right now, <clears throat> you don't want to go chasing after them because that's only going to push that person's energy away. So we always have to put the energy back on ourselves. Power of number 21. Let's see what's going on. For the beautiful star sign of Scorpio in regards to your romantic life. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Going to put my glasses back on. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios. What is going on in their current romantic life right now, no matter what situation that they find themselves in? Ooh. Okay, there's a new groove. Let's put it this way. Queen of Wands. Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with fire signs. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's a new wave of energy. Or you are gearing up to really think about how to manifest 
your soulmate into your life because the queen of wands, male or female, doesn't matter. It is about a lot of wand activity could talk about focused intention. Okay. But there's a new wave or a new groove of energy that I feel is going to put a spring in your step. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody is very much highly attracted to you. Wow, we got more wand activity, six of wands. Somebody wants to recognize you, Scorpio, or you're going to be at the top of your A game. Like this new wave of energy is going to start drawing in choices and options. That's what I'm hearing. Some form of good news coming in your direction, possibly over the next six days or six weeks. Did get the justice card. All right. I'm hearing a winning victory. Now, with this justice card, and that's Libra energy. Libra rules over the seventh house of the zodiac. So it is about partnerships. Yes, it is about the truth. Yes, it is about justice being served, but it is also about soulmate activity. If you guys really set your mind to it, <clears throat> You may be able to draw in this person before the full moon in the sign of Libra. But you can't manifest for your soulmate when you're in a very depressed state of energy. It's just not going to work. Everything resonates in this universe off of vibrational frequency. So we have to feel really good about ourselves. We have to know that we are number one, that we put ourselves first because we can't take care of other people until we learn how to take care of ourselves first. So justice, somebody coming in with good news or telling you the truth. Looking on the bottom of the deck, the nine of swords. Again, you can't be crying, <clears throat> crying, hurting, feeling sorry for yourself. That's not going to draw your soulmate in. And a lot of you want to do this fast. Well, wands are about fast movement. I don't know. Toto's picking up on some energy. What are you moaning about, baby girl? I just fed you. Is this about the soulmate? Um. <laughs> <clears throat> Toto's confirming. <laughs> you hear that? She's talking. It's like a moan talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does Scorpio need to be in a really good attitude? Oh. Yeah. The Scorpio need to put themselves first. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. Mhm. Mm no, you can't have a treat. I know what you're I I know what you're looking at. She's licking her mouth like she's hungry. I just fed her. Oh. <laughs> Let's see what justice is all about, you guys. You want to manifest quick, you have to change your thoughts and change your emotional state. Okay, clarifying the justice card. Ooh, somebody wants to come in fast or shifting your attitude, your energy, your frequency levels. Okay. Knight of Swords, somebody wants to race or rush towards you. <sighs> Bless you, Toto. Let me see why they're going to be rushing in fast. Oh, my God. 
Okay, the reason why somebody would be rushing in fast is because they got guilt, remorse, regret, five of cups. Hang on one second, you guys. Okay, here we go. So five of cups. Somebody's got guilt, remorse, regret for how they treated you in the past. So now they want to run. They're trying to run away also too from another situation in order to come in your direction. So your vibrational frequency, it's like, yes, it's important to have all seven of your chakras like as aligned as possible. Okay, but a lot of this has to do with your mindset, but it looks like your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus, it, it's like the energy needs to get grounded. So if you feel like you've been kind of spacey, you know, kind of all up in your head, fleeting thoughts, things like that, get, focus in on your root chakra, sacral, and solar plexus right now, because from those three energy pinpoints of the body, OK, that's going to help to align everything else so that because I'm looking at I'm also looking at the color theme that is going on between justice, the knight of swords and the five of cups. There's a lot of this like Robin's egg, pale blue color going on that would represent the throat chakra. Again, somebody coming in, rushing in to speak their truth. Because this could be an, like an I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what I did to you, etc. I'm going to go into um, the Romance Angels deck. Let's see what this person's energy is bringing in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like this person, whoever's dominant, like, dominant on your mind right now, Scorpio, it's like they're going to drop a false mask. Clarifying the justice card very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Again, the energy frequency, it's going to start with you, Scorpio. Your root, your sacral, your solar plexus. Getting your energy grounded. So how can we ground ourselves? Well, you can wear a hematite stone. Hematite grounds our energy. OK, um, there are also guided meditations or binaural beats or frequencies that can instantaneously help shift that frequency. Some of you might need to listen to it a few days over, um, maybe starting off with your root chakra for like three days, working on your sacral chakra. OK, and then also your solar plexus, because your confidence levels it could be going in waves right now, which if you're having confidence issues or if you are having um, you know, low self-esteem, it's going to affect your emotional stance, the way that you speak, the way that you communicate, and also your visions, the visions or spiritual downloads about your romantic life that have been trying to come towards you. So clearly very soon, I would say, and looking back at the roll of the dice and the numbers before the 21st, before the 21st of March, because again, by Monday, it's, we're going into that new Zodiac year. So we are on this cusp line of moving out of the Zodiac year of 2022 into 2023. And now we're going to be going into the 2023 into 2024. Okay, Toto. 2024 Zodiac year. So very soon, like this is like a hustling energy. So if you've been feeling down and out, you got to have to find a way to turn it off and turn it off fast because this person is going to energetically be gravitated towards you. Clarifying the Knight of Swords, the true love card. This is a romance of a lifetime. Some of you guys may have a couple different choices or options in the romance department. Okay. So either all of them could come towards you at once, or it's going to be whoever you're thinking about 
that could be part of those choices or options for some of you in that situation. Like, I don't know. I like this guy and I like this girl. And then there's this other girl and then there's this other guy. Okay. That's fine. You could have 10, you could have 20 potential suitors, if not more, <laughs> you know, I mean, listen, the whole world is full of soulmates, you guys. But the one who's going to gravitate to your energy, it's this person has, they have a hustle about them in a good way. They're going to like be drawn unto you. Okay. And they're bringing in this true love because I feel like this person knows that they made a mistake. They may not even technically be dealing with somebody right now. They may have third party situations, but they may not be as directly involved with that person. Like maybe like they used to be. Okay. But as soon as you decide to shift your frequency, this person is going to come rushing in. Okay. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay, so either this person that's dominating your thoughts, Scorpio, could be seeking advice from others on how to reach out, how to come towards you. It could be particular family members that they know or love or trust. But like I also said, you want to see your romantic life shift. You're going to have to take a little bit of action as well. But only put yourself in environments that actually are going to make you feel good and comfortable within your own skin. If you're kind of out of the bar phase and you don't want to go to a bar, you know, it could be like, <clears throat> it could be a restaurant, it could be with a group of friends, but bar energy, I'm not anti-bar, I've worked in bars before in the past, you know, there is an energy and you you don't want to draw in people who, you know, have been drinking a lot. That's not the type of energy. That's not the type of soulmate activity. You want somebody to be sober, you know, when they come towards you. Okay. And you know, liquor <clears throat> is the truth serum. Okay. I'm not anti-alcohol. I do drink, but the thing is, is, coherency. You want to be coherent. You want to be resonating at a high vibrational frequency. And, you know, a lot of times when people are at the bar, they've been drinking too much. They're masking over when people go out and drink, you're, they're like masking over a lot of heavy issues, baggage that they haven't learned how to release without we'll say being influenced by a substance. Okay. So make sure that whatever environment, if you're putting yourself out there again for the first time, and maybe it's been a while, maybe it's been years, go with friends that you know, love and trust, and only being in environments that actually make you feel comfortable. Okay. So that will also help the situation out. However, there's a specific person that is dominating your thoughts right now, or there's a couple different potential suitors. The more you focus in on your emotional frequency and ground your energy, it's going to be rushing this person in. Okay. So let me go into, I'm going to go into the hidden truth Oracle, and then I'm going to do a little bit of moonology. Trusted ancestors, show me the higher truth, the higher self of this person that Scorpio, their thoughts may be dominated by. Yeah. I want to tell you how I feel. Okay. This person, again, they've been wearing a mask. They've been holding back their feelings. And now they want to rush forward. Provided you get your emotional stance, your emotional frequency balanced, grounded, etc. Okay. Because that will also help you mentally through your third eye, your and your crown chakra. Okay. I'm 
message from the Knight of Swords. I lost myself for a little while. Yeah, they lost themselves because they themselves had baggage. They themselves probably weren't in the greatest confidence level. Like they, they weren't feeling very confident. They were unsure of the connection. Again, to me, if somebody's losing themselves in something, they could be losing themselves in a substance. They could be losing themselves in third-party situations, whatever the case may be. Their judgment calls, because we've got the justice card, their judgment calls were obviously off. And they made judgment calls about you because they were afraid. They were afraid they ran away because you made them in some way, Scorpio made them look at themselves in the mirror. You know what I mean? So, but this person is your soulmate and it is true love. They feel guilty the time just the timing just wasn't right for us. Part of that I feel is an excuse because they lost themselves, because they were distracted, because they chose to remain distracted in the past. They didn't want to face the reality of how strong the connection was between you and them. Okay? If you are a single Scorpio, putting yourself back out there, this person may be coming in or when you get to know them little by little, this person may open up. You may find that this person is very talkative, that they may tell you about their background, their love history, anything so that they can find a way <clears throat> to connect with you. Okay. So right now, in order to bring this person in, hustle the energy, really determine where your emotional frequency is at. If you're feeling numb in your emotions right now, Scorpio, not really knowing how you feel, just get to work. And working on your root chakra, sacral, and solar plexus. Just go ahead and put the work in, okay? Because spirit will come in and divine, like divinely guide you. And you'll start to see little by little changes, okay? Because there's this victory and success coming in through the six of wands. Somebody wants to recognize you. Somebody wants to level up a connection. They feel like they should have leveled this connection up a long time ago. And they didn't because they had X, Y, and Z reasons, etc. Right now, they're showing me, whether you're consciously aware of it or not, male or female Scorpio, you're in the queen of wands mode. Manifestation. Okay, so thank you, my awesome and beautiful Scorpios. I will be doing audio readings for a few more days. Um, I have a lot on my plate right now and trying to um, get my reading room and my office space uh, cleared cleared out. I've been going very small baby steps. I have to paint the walls. This is, you know, a task. My schedule has been very hefty. Um, this past week with doing personal readings and of course, keeping the channel active and flowing. Um, so I might need a little bit more time, but yeah, eventually I'll, I'll go back to showing the cards and something I also noticed too, when I was doing the audio, started doing the audio readings again last night, I noticed that the recordings were uploading faster, like lightning. They, like recording like a 19 minute video was only taking like 10 minutes to upload versus when I show the cards and I go to upload, it could say like 45 minutes. It could say an hour, two hours, three hours to upload. And so I'm kind of digging the fact, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of digging the fact that the audio, when I'm doing just audio right now, 
it's uploading a hell of a lot faster, which makes my world a little easier for the moment, but I get it. You guys want to see the cards eventually. So, um, that will definitely come back into fruition. But right now, Aries energy is already starting to head in my personal direction and um, I'm getting prepared for uh, some major things um, by the time the first week of April hits. So that's where I stand. This is what I'm going to be doing for a little bit. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I have more readings coming to the channel, so stick around. But uh, until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, I have three spots available uh, for the end of March of 2023. So take advantage while you have the opportunity. Otherwise we'll be booking for Victoria and I will be booking for the month of April of 2023 for personal readings. I have different, uh, reading packages available, uh, to fit every single budget and, um, you'll definitely get your money's worth. I very much do readings that, Graze about a little over an hour, if not more, just depends. Depends on how the numbers come up, but um, you not be you will not be disappointed. So anyway, trying to get my words out. I will be back. And so until next time, you guys stick around.